guys, Trent here and we're back for another Minecraft Pocket Edition video. And before I start this video, please leave a like and subscribe for more videos like this. And let's jump right in into the video. So, I have here the new version 1.1.0.8 and I will put the link on the description below so you can sign up to get this minecraft pocket edition or to be a beta tester and this video is not about an update video i'm gonna show you how to get pc gui in minecraft pocket edition no add-ons no mods no block launcher no anything you just need minecraft pocket edition and to do that the first thing it, you need to do is go to YouTube, go to my channel, press the subscribe button, and press the like button. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Um, if you want to do that, you can just do it. But the step is not like that. I just want you to subscribe to my channel. Um, the first thing you need to do is press settings on the on the menu or in the settings tab in when you're playing a Minecraft world. You need to press settings and after you press settings you need to go down on the um, left um, buttons I don't know what you call it press video and go down and press show advanced video settings when you press that you will see this FOV render distance limit world size um and you will see this ui profile um to get the pc gui you need to press um classic you need to press classic then the magic happens when you press x i will show you first on the menu tab when you press um some buttons there no not store except for the store tab when you press the skins the GUI will be kind of small like that will be small but it but it will be the same they just change the what you call it I think they ch I think it's safe area yeah they change the screen safe area into small but when you press settings it's just like the same touch um they change the safe area and let's go to a minecraft world. and um, I will press the three buttons on the bottom right corner and I'm gonna press it in three two one tada here now you have the PC GUI um it works perfectly and it works um um, this will be useful if you want to clear slots just put right there and you can also do this oh this is your um um your invent inventory and they also added you know the dual wield um because you can use that like for a um sword i think i i think you can use it for a sword and and the totem of undying when you press the chest or the inventory slot when you put it oh well it's not working when you put the totem of undying you will see your left hand you will see the um the mm, what you call it you will see the totem of undying on your left hand and when i remove it and put it on here you will see it on your right hand and that works perfectly in in the dual wield and you can also do this press stone make a lol well right there so we have a lol and when you if you want to get all your things like double tap then you get all your stuff back and I and you can also do this in crafting so let's try to craft a a sword so we need a stick we need a stick 
and a diamond or any kinds of or or wood I will make a diamond sword and let's try to craft a um let's try to craft a crafting table inside our crafting menu so let's put the oak like that and press crafting table and double tap so I can get it all then put the crafting table and when I press it it's like the same so we need to do is put a stick and a diamond and right there and we have a diamond sword there and there and we have the diamond sword and also it works in brewing stands dispensers um beacons i think it works on beacons let me try wait i will just try it there put a three by three so like, like that so let's press the beacon yep i think and it works perfectly too in beacons and you need to press that and and pick a potion effect i mean effect i want speed and check and we will have speed when we go near at the beacon when i go far to the beacon well i guess it works and it also um just like what i said a while ago it work it also works in dispensers where are the dispensers or droppers some um interactable things it works like when i press beacon i mean dispenser put the diamond sword and press i mean get a button or a lever when i press it see it works and also it works on shulker boxes when i get a shulker box right there and like that and like that and also you can put it right here on the dispenser dispenser put it like that and you get and there and also you can also do this with um anvil all kinds of stuff and i think we're gonna wrap it there guys i hope you like this tutorial video and yeah I hope you like this video and good bye.